going on YouTube, man? It's your boy RLXS Tump, man, aka Derek. Uh, I'm gonna do an instructional video today about the waves and stuff like that on kind of, you know, how I did mine and how I got my pattern and how I maintain them, you know, how I sleep with them, how I put my do-rag on. I'm gonna kind of do a process as uh, easy as possible uh, for beginners all the way up to the people that can probably give me pointers. Uh, so again, you know, this is my first YouTube video, so I'm gonna make it as easy as possible. You know, let me know in the comments. Uh, but before that, man, you know, just subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. More fire content coming on the way. Again, this is my first video. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, so we back here, man. So, you know, had mission. Make sure the mirror clean, man. Won't do no video with no dirty ass mirror, man. Who wanna watch a damn YouTube video? He can't even keep the mirror clean. I gotta keep the mirror clean for y'all. <laughs> but anyways, man, like I was saying previously, I just wanted to do this video for people that uh, may be struggling to get their waves or maybe struggling to knowing how to brush their hair, man. So, you know, what I do is, I used to just brush my hair forward like this. Let me show y'all. I used to just brush my hair forward like this. And then, you know, the top, go this way, like this. And then I used to come like that. So now what I've been found out, air that came on, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Uh, but now what I've found out, I'm down like this come down with the brush go all the way around you want to brush your crown come all the way around like this like so <laughs> like so you know come all the way around and come down you know come down like this and you can see my excuse my charger in the background you might see my hairline stinging like oh fuck. just got my hair cut this morning but it's afternoon, right? Yeah. Like so, doing it like that. I know a lot of people, you know, a lot of people just don't want to put the time in. Uh, me personally, man, from what I done learned is, you know, you really, you, you, you can't get waves, man, if you ain't putting the time in, man. You you, you know, you, you got to brush your hair. That's a fact. That's a fact. Absolutely. You can't, you, you, you never get waves. You never get waves if you don't brush your hair, man. You got to brush your hair. got to brush, 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 brush. But see, when your hair trained and when, when you got them in there, you know, I ain't got the best waves in the world, but, you know, for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, they there, you know what I mean? You know, we'll do this video for no reason, you know. Uh, but yeah, man. You know, gotta brush your hair, man. Uh, some of the products I use, Deep Wave. Deep wave. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. Yeah. Deep wave. Deep condition formula. Uh, I mainly only use this uh, when my hair is kind of thick. You know what I mean? When it's kind of thick. I don't really. When my hair is this length. This length. I'm, let me see. Let me show you this. My hair is this length. I kind of use this one. You know what I'm saying? Spinning waves. I've been using this for a couple years. Never let me down. Now, <laughs> I used to use this shit. Everybody know about Old Faithful, man. Everybody know about Old Faithful. Uh, this some good shit. I ain't even gonna lie. This, this, this is this is a very, very good product, man. It's, 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 it's too thick for my hair, you know what I mean? It's just way too thick for my hair. So uh, most of the time, you know, just like when I get out the shower, I probably put some of this in my head, then put a do-rag on. And then another thing about the do-rags, man. Stop using them cotton do-rags, man. Them cotton do it don't do nothing but dry your scalp out, dry your hair out. There's no apparent shine to your hair when you use a when you when you use a cotton do rag. Get you satin, man. Get you something satin, man. Satin. Get you something satin, man. Lightweight. You sleep in it, you don't really sweat in it. But I do. You know, I get hot easy, so I sweat. Man. I got this one, a dark blue one, got a black one. My black one a little bit thicker. I don't know why these kind of it's the same exact brand and. I don't really know why one thicker than the other. Uh, but that's mainly what I use, man. You know, uh, when I do take a shower, y'all gonna see in the instructional video I'm about to do here in just a second. Uh, what I do, of course, you know, before, you know, everything else, you know, I put my shampoo in, you know, brush it in my head. And I actually brush my hair in the shower. A lot of people don't brush their hair in the shower. Another technique I can, that's a secret I can give y'all. Brush your hair in the shower, man. I didn't always brush my hair in the shower, but trust me, man, trust me. 
brushing your hair in the shower definitely help a lot. When you get out and you're ready to put your do rag on after you take a shower, you don't even got a brush, man, because you didn't did all the brushing in the inside in the in the shower. So you know, even when I got the shampoo in, a brush, 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 and the same exact pattern that you do that you want your waves to go. You want the 360? I would say go down on the sides. I don't, you know, everybody hair is different. I go down on the sides, and it helps with my 360 in the back. Helps it kind of curve in the back, you know. I don't know if you can too much see that. Uh, but yeah, it definitely, it definitely helps the pattern, man. When you brush around, around the crown, around the crown, man. And I usually get my hair cut with a one and a half. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of getting <laughs> getting off topic, my bad, y'all. Uh, but yeah, when I'm in the shower, I, I put the shampoo in, brush, 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 let it sit for a minute. And then I get underneath the water, right? When you get underneath the water, that's when you're brushing, you, you're still brushing. You know, after you, you then you brushing, getting it out of your scalp and stuff like that. All the way around, all the way around, all the way around until you're comfortable with it being out. You know, and then of course, you know, you do your due diligence, whatever, you, however you take a shower, you know. I'm only here to tell you how to wash your hair. <laughs> I'm only here to tell you how to wash your hair. And usually, uh, I wash my hair about once or twice a week. Um, maybe sometimes even three times, man. It just, it just depends. I don't, you know, I don't put the, uh, the spinning waves in my hair. I don't put the spinning waves in my hair three times a week. Uh, depending, if I wash my hair three times a week, I'll probably put it in my hair twice. Uh, or maybe once. It kind of, if, if you got a natural shine and uh, silk to your hair, like I do, it'll kind of hold it a little bit longer. Uh, but let's get back to the shower, man. As far as the uh, the shower here, uh, when you put the conditioner in your hair, it's the same. It's the same thing. Same thing. Brush, 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 brush. Same exact thing, man. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. Come on to the back. Same. And this with the conditioner in your hair. With the conditioner in your hair, man. You're going this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Like this, right? Like so. So yeah. Yeah, man, that's, a, that's about it, man. Just make sure you're brushing your hair, man. Make sure you stand on top of brushing your hair, man. I really cannot preach that shit enough. Make sure you stand on top of brushing your hair. Get you a silk do-rag. A silk do-rag, man. And also, let me show y'all what I use in my hair, man. Uh, as you can tell, I use the shit out of this. V05, man. You can get this anywhere, man. I usually get it at like the Walgreens or like if you're up north where I'm from, from Saginaw, Michigan. I'm in Dallas, Texas at this time. Uh, but if, you, if you're up north, uh, you can get it at any Rite Aid or Walgreens. This is the uh, shampoo. So as far as the conditioner, same exact brand. Same exact brand for the conditioner. And this is... Let me see. I don't even see which one this is, man. It don't even... But it smells damn good. I'm gonna say that it smells damn good. I don't even know which one it is, but it do. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, just just you know, keep up with the consistency, man, and the waves will come, man. I don't care what type of hair you got. Anybody can get waves, man. Everybody can get waves in their hair, man. Period. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, let's go ahead and get to the wave instructionals. Get y'all in, the, you know, not get y'all in the shower and then like that. Uh, but go ahead and uh, do the instruction in the shower. Show y'all how I do it instead of just talking about. It. Yeah, let's go.
right, man, I'm back, fresh out the shower. I'm gonna show y'all how we do what the do-rag. I'm gonna put the grease in too. Like I said, the deep wave is more for when I got thicker hair. So when I got the thinner hair, I usually use the cream. This is more of like a, almost like a grease, I wanna say. So I don't really like to use that too often, but you got the shower, brush your hair like so. You want your hair to still be kind of damp. Not wet, but still kind of damp. So, you know, you wanna brush in your pattern all the way around, like so. You know? Take you satisfied. <laughs> Usually I do the hot towel that you right off the shower, throw a hot towel on your head, let it stay for a minute, then put your grease in, it helps it stick better with the durat. So you know what? We're gonna do that. Right your cloth rag. Turn your water on. So you get the beard too, man. You can't have no tangly beard out here, man. I ain't got much, but I got some. I got, got more than some of you niggas. So take your cloth, get it nice and wet. Wrinkle any excess out. You don't want it completely dry. You want the water to be able to sit on top of your head. You take it like this. It's an OG trick, by the way, you know. This ain't nothing new. You know, sometimes you gotta revert back to the old stuff. Old stuff sometimes work the best. You know? Leave that on for a second. Be right back. All right, so after you leave that on for a second, take it off. Make sure you don't mess it up too much. Then you take you. Your pomade or your grease, whatever you use. You know, I like to use Wave Builder products. I've been using Wave Builder products since I was a little kid, so. It's like a, it's almost like, I can't really describe it, you know. It's like, not cream and not pomade, but it's like a, it's almost like a wet texture. I don't really like heavy products in my hair. That makes sense. Take it on. And also, you want to put it on in the, in the, in the way that you, you want your hair to go as well. The same way you brush your hair is the same way you want to put the, the pomade, cream, or grease in your hair. You know, like this. You don't want to put too much in your hair. Because you know, when you put your do-rag on, you take it off, your hair going to be stuck to the scalp, per se. So, you put it on. Make sure it's in there good. You want to wash your hands again. You don't want to have a sticky brush. looking pretty good we looking pretty good all right hands up then you take your do-rag man then you take your do-rag I don't really like the tail out I usually throw it in a knot like the tail out just me personal preference take the do-rag Fluff your corners out, throw it on top of your head. Like so. Round your ears, bring it around, and tie it up. Make sure it ain't too tight. Might lose your circulation. Just tight enough, and uh, also with the lines, man. The lines, you get the lines in your hair if you don't, you don't thin this out. If you don't stretch this out, you wake up with a line in your hair, and it's, it's 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 hard to take away. It's hard to get rid of that line, man. It's hard to get rid of that line, so you want to make sure you fluff it out, so you don't carry that in your hair or on your forehead. I'm sorry, not your hair, your forehead. Uh, we gonna throw this on. And 
that's what I do, man. That's my routine. Like I said, I usually wash my hair two or three times a week. Uh, three times probably is pushing it, just depends on if I'm playing basketball, if I'm working out, anything like that. You definitely don't want any sweat building up or anything in your hair. You want to keep your hair nice and clean. And you want to keep the natural shine to it, not a sweat shine to it. So. Also, you know, even 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 uh, we're washing your hair that much. It keeps bumps out your face, keeps your skin clean, all of that. So, yeah, that's it, man. Again, this is All Access Talk, aka Derek. Comment, like, subscribe, man. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Yep.